Hi, Dave here at Brushed Interiors. We're going to go over some basic tools to get you going on a paint job. There's often overlooked uh, hand tools that I just want to mention. We have here the 5-in-1, which is a scraper, paint opener, and basically five uses in one. Very necessary. Always have your, your screwdriver for taking off cover plates and everything like that. Don't forget to have a brush cleaner. You do need something to clean your brushes and to keep them clean, especially with uh, heavy usage and so forth. It's always important to have a sharp utility knife on hand for cutting the plastic and the paper for protecting the floors and everything else. Pliers, it's good to have a small hammer around. These small hand tools are often overlooked, but you're going to need them. Now, the paint brushes, you'll see a lot of contractors with uh, this or a larger size. I prefer a smaller one and a half inch brush on cutting a fine line myself. But you're going to need some nice paint brushes for doing your work. The chip brushes, these are throwaway brushes, just a dollar a piece or so. Always have some of these on hand, especially when you don't have time to clean something, you're just doing some primer, you need to uh, dust something off. These are your chip brushes. So over here, we have some basic supplies, and there's two kinds of blue tape. Your standard multi-use blue, regular blue, and delicate. This is very important for cutting a line or creating a line using tape. You don't use the regular blue, you use delicate tape for cutting the line. Standard 100 grit sandpaper. It's great for sanding your wall, but you need one of these sponge sanders, an angle sander, to get into corners or to sand and fine tune an edge. Your basic plaster tools, don't forget those. Now over here on the rollers, I only have this out to show you what I don't like to use anymore. And this is the old style roller which can warp. I'd rather use the Sherlock Wooster roller with a plastic cover there. It's much stronger and gives you a fine smooth edge. That's my roller setup along with half inch nap. That's the, the nap of the, uh, the roller cover for doing ceilings and so forth. And we have a standard 3 8 standard 3 8 size, like here is your Purdy White Dove 3 8 nap for doing most walls. Very important, don't forget the mini rollers. These mini rollers are crucial for doing bathrooms, kitchens, and tight spaces. I like to use this style, which fits into this kind of a cover, and that'll give you a nice roll. You'll see a lot of these pin rollers around, and they'll get you by, but when you're doing a nice big job, you need fine finishes, it doesn't quite match up to the big one. So this is a hand bucket. For two dollars, this is fantastic. Much better than a household jar or something. And this is your, your cut bucket, okay? Standard pole, I like to use the Sherlock. It's very strong. This is only a four foot pole, so it only reach a certain height. For very high ceilings, you'll need a bigger one. So there are some of your basic tools. Don't forget to stay organized, think ahead of the game. You've got your brushes and you've got your basics, but don't forget your hand tools and don't forget those extra things to get your job done.